Do you know this thing you're living in vibrates? It glows. As a matter of fact, there is an aura of energy around your body. That is the cells leaving your body. Your body changes at the rate of about 50,000 cells per second. And as the as cells leave the body, new ones are created. And you know, as the image in a person's mind changes, the vibration of their body changes, and the density and the color of this energy changes, and changes dramatically. Now, let's stop and think about this for a moment. We call that glass. It's actually energy. Because of the speed it's vibrating at, we call it glass. We call this water. That's what it is. It's water. But it's actually energy too. As a matter of fact, the ring that's hitting it is energy, and the finger that the ring is on is energy. Everything's energy. Everything vibrates at a different speed. Stay with me here for a moment. What we're talking about here is energy. Now, while the energy is in the vibratory rate it's in, in that glass, we're going to call it water. And we call it water because it's vibrating at a physical or a corporeal state. If you were to add heat to that energy that we call water, you wouldn't call it water anymore. Then you would change the terminology that you would use. It would be the same energy, but it would be moving faster in a higher speed of vibration. Then we would call it steam or vapor. And we would call the energy steam or vapor because it's not in a physical vibration. It's now moved into what we call an astral vibration. If we were to continue to add heat to that energy that we now call steam, you wouldn't call it steam any longer. You would call it air, ether, or gas. And that's because it's not in an astral vibration any longer. It's moved into now what we call an etheric vibration. It's the same energy. Now, as we take a look at this, we're going to let these lines represent levels of vibration, or as we more commonly refer to them as frequencies. And you know, each frequency is hooked up to the one above and the one below. There's no line of demarcation and the one below. There's no line of demarcation where one stops and the other starts. See, every frequency, it's like the colors of a rainbow. As they fit together, there's no place where one color stops and the other starts. They're all joined together. Now, you're never going to see that with something you call sight. Sight is a physical sensory factor. You have to go to one of your higher faculties and you develop this through understanding. You start to understand. So do you see, the part of us that we cannot see and the part we can see is all the same. This is just the flip side of the coin of this.